Hi guys, good morning. I hope you can join me today. I'm feeling a lot better today because I rested and rested. I tried to go out and um, do a bit of gardening yesterday after live feed, but then I'm like, oh, to hell with this. <laughs> Um, so I just sit about an hour pottering about and our brown garden is good morning Shannon you're awake <laughs> <laughs> so um, our brown gardening defu um, refusal has been full so I can't do much more if you are just here have you forgotten um, we're gonna do some fun effect today and um, if you can um, please bring um, a diluted fairy liquid okay in a little cup maybe a bit deeper than that I don't know how I'm gonna make a mess out of this guy so guys who just joined don't forget um, bring a bit of fairy liquid something that you think is gonna bubble up obviously we're gonna make bubbles okay and um, for any makeup artist or anyone out there who's got a bit of IPA left um, I'm not gonna use too much because uh, it's precious in case we need to um, Hi Grace, hi Sinopa, um, in case we need to use it for hand sanitizer. Hi Amy, um, but um, if you haven't got any, you can watch me doing a demo, okay? Okay Julie, um, but if you have some, run off now and get um, a cup of diluted fairy liquid, something, I don't know what is the proportion or recipe for it, but make sure it will... Um, kind of like bubbles up okay so um hi pen hi marie i don't know i don't know what percentage just kind of like make sure it will bubble and um some a straw or something that you can blow it so we're gonna go to um amanda hi we're going to um go back to blue p today <laughs> if anyone's um old enough to witness blue peter <laughs> or we're going back to nursery we're going to make hi carol um beautiful bubble art hi roger for the background of our painting okay so um we need today is a straw or some kind of tubey things okay just think if you haven't got any straw because we're trying to reduce down on our plastic you know the inside of the spray bottle make sure it's nice and clean though don't put your mouth in anything that you can eat it Blech. okay so I'll give you five minutes for that go 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 run 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 if you haven't got it so we need a cup of soapy oh my god is my oven going again what is this going on my husband Okay, he ran to the husband, um, he, my husband ran to the kitchen today, so thank you! Because um, I haven't got any bread and I've got some um, flour left, so I thought I'll make some bread. Yeah, it's very liquid, or it can be any soap really, bubble bath, anything that is bubbly. Okay, hi Jess, thank you for joining me. And um, has anyone got like really dry hands? Because you know, we wash our hands so much and the um, radiator still on. So um, make sure you dry your hands. Hi Abby. And um, today's, well this week's um, chosen charity because I've been, um, I mentioned it yesterday that I've been Twitter so hard about COVID-19. So I've been following quite a few people. Hi Zoe and um, Basically, um, the St. John Ambulance um, have been joining the NHS and they're working off, you know, round the clock really. Um, and they were running out on funds because um, I, I didn't realize that they are a um, charity organization. So I think this week um, we're going to share the love to the St. John Ambulance. Okay, right. Um, let's start it. Those who just joined, um, if you can run off and get it really quickly, if you have. If not, you can just watch and watch me demo the Blue Peter way, okay? Um, a cup of bubbly soap. So it's a solution of a um, diluted thing. Let me have a quick try because I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's working. Okay, so you need a straw. 
you need a bubble thing um you know solution it could be bubble bath shampoo anything just a, it doesn't it's not a lot i i use fairy liquid and then for anyone who's a makeup artist and if you have isopropyl alcohol the runny type um please do try if not i'm gonna show you how to do it we're not gonna use a lot of this it's only like a few drops hi luke you coming to join me right okay let's go let's do the effect quickly this is like really handy for the background if you want to you know the flowers that we painted you can um paint these lovely bubbly things around your flowers that you want it to do first let's have a look okay without further ado okay so oh yeah your wall must be looking quite full now if you join me from day one because we're day eight Hi, Catherine. Um, you know, look, this is what we've been creating. And along there in that corner, that's what we've been creating. Okay, guys. You can put it on the fridge, put it on the wall. Just to um, put it up, don't put it away because um, it reminds you how much you achieve in these few days that you think you've done nothing if you're not working just like me. And you just realize even just one hour that we've done um, little things online together, it's really really uplifting well for me anyway guys okay so um i think i probably overfill my cups really um la 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 okay i'm going to attempt make a mess let me um put the towel over first oh i'm gonna make a mess okay let me just stir this quickly Or you can use pasta if you haven't got any tubey things. Hi, Gemma. Right, I'm going to put some in that little cup there. Okay, so. Right, right, right. I am going to use pink. Um, and I'm not going to use... Oh, yeah, and um, this kind of effect is lovely, but it will affect the composition of your watercolor obviously so it's a fun effect and if you keep it inside um, the scrap scrapbook and stuff it will be fine but um, I wouldn't say I'm gonna sell my fine art piece at the exhibition you know because the it will um, compromise the quality of your watercolor okay I'm gonna use my cheapy tube paint in red purple okay oof because I, I wanted to make sure that um, my paint because I bought it a couple of years ago whoa hold on let me just give it a good shake I can see the separation give it a good little massage Thai massage hi friends how are you I hope you're well if you can join me that would be great um, if you haven't got watercolor you can use face paint right I'm just gonna put some in there don't know how this is gonna work. I saw them on Blue Peter, guys. <laughs> okay, right. And then give it a quick stir. Um, any color you want, it's watercolor. If you have the um, cakey type, just dilute it, okay? And then prop them in your, um, your paint. Just dilute it, don't worry. Okay, are you mixing it along with me? And the next one, I'm going to go for blue maybe, or purple. Gosh, that's a lot of water. Um, I'm going to have to go with it. Okay, I'm going to go for pink and green today. And give a... Yeah, you can do one color, guys, or two, but I'm gonna do two just because it's pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very organized. Haven't given you clear instructions. <laughs> run, 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 get it. Oh my God, how much do I need here? It's like a snake. That's probably very diluted, really. Not a good idea. Is everybody ready? 
Right, so let's go for green first. Hi, Gold Bricks. How are you today? This is still live here, Shannon. <laughs> So I'm just going to go on one side of the painting and what you do is you blow the bubble. You just gently kind of, if you can, <laughs> get out, get out on my, yay. Come on guys, you can, we can do this. <laughs> A little bit of giggles. Let's do another one because it's so much fun. Oh, ooh, I did a lot of spl spilling there. I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy. Okay, right there. And then you just gently ease it, you know. I'm just gonna go a bit more because I think my paint is a little bit diluted. So just give it a bit of a, what you call this, <laughs> drizzle. Okay, so I make a big mess, but you know what? So what? I hope you're more organized and had all your table lined and everything. Okay. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Anya. Okay. Oh, yeah, guys. Would you do me a favor and um, press share, right? Right now. Um, there must be three dots somewhere on the page for you. If you press share and then host a watch party, it means that your friends online can, um, you know, start watching as well because some people saying, oh, you know, we, they didn't know about it. So if you can kind of like do that would be amazing. Thank you. Okay, so um, I was going to do half. Oh, yeah, let's do half still. Okay, so this is just a bubble um, fairy liquid solution. Very, um, you know, whatever. I don't know what's the recipe. Just, just do it, guys. And then put some watercolor in there. If you haven't got the wet type of paint in the tube, you just dilute the cake and then use the brush to um, clean it. Oh, well done. And then, you know, next color if you want to. Oh, 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 it's gone on my hand. How do I get this off? <laughs> I don't know. Oh guys, okay, so look, when I drizzle, it doesn't work because when the bubble um, melts, it go all in one. So keep it like that, like you don't drizzle any in. Oh, it doesn't work there. Okay, sorry. Don't drizzle. Don't drizzle like Mona. I'm going to try on a new bit now, okay? That's terrible. This is what happened when you don't plan. Um, I don't know, you just kind of like gently how to get the bubble out of the paper. I have no idea. I'm just kind of like use a um, straw to ease it out. Like that. Just gently, gently ease it out. Okay. I think that pink might work better. So now um, it needs to be uninterrupted. Just leave it somewhere else. And I don't think this work, look, because my pen is not good. I hope yours will work better than mine. When they pop, I, I can see that they don't leave the bubble imprint. So anyway, um, you need to post the result and let me know, okay? Because mine is not working. I will have to try again later. That's what happened when you don't try them beforehand. Planning is the key and I always told all my students that and today I didn't plan because I just thought right let's do it Okay, now um, On your new piece of paper <laughs> that is not messy anymore um, We're just gonna use like a tiny bit of it. I don't wait. I'm reluctant to use this actually mm, Because I wanted to use that for my flowers. Okay, I know I know, I know. What am I going to use? I'm going to use the back of my scraps, okay? That one. So, we're going to do a flat wash. A flat wash is one color um, wash. What you do is, 
you just gently draw an invisible oblong shape or any shape you want okay square oblong circle this is gonna be um, alcohol technique well if it doesn't work sorry guys <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with indigo so flat wash mean all of them are um, all the whole surface of area is nice and even I don't know how this is gonna turn out I haven't tried either if not let's delete it <laughs> let's forget it never happened <laughs> okay and you can use um you know I wonder if hand sanitizer works I have no idea if you have it you can try it okay but I'm gonna use a bit of alcohol you can use the brush and you know just gently splatter it in if you want to okay let's try I don't know how this is gonna work okay it works so basically alcohol chase away the pigments And knowing me, um, I don't know when to stop, so just tell me. <laughs> okay, that's run out, so that's it. Okay. Oh, cute! Okay, so but I think um, the bubble effect would have been much better if it worked. It didn't work on mine. It's a nice effect, though. I will reuse that and paint some flower on top of that. Definitely not going to waste it. And maybe I will um, do another bubble with stronger pigments. Maybe because that pigments are like student quality. I have no clue. We'll just have to figure it out. Okay, let's get back to our flower effect. So I'll just leave that to dry now. Okay, so for our flowers today, we're going to paint um, snowdrop. Okay, so... We need, because Snowdrop is um, white, and we're going to need to mix in grey, and we're going to paint the shadow of the grey, okay? Let me just have a quick sip of tea. Okay, right. Let me go to right the back of my scrapbook, because <clears throat> I've been busy studying colours and pigments right now. Um, just to keep me busy, I've been doing research on um, pigments and colors. Okay, so the snowdrops. I have been looking in my garden. I still got some. They're so cute. Okay. Um, oh, Shannon, I want to see your results because I think my paint is not a good one because um, it seemed to gel into the whole lot even when I didn't drizzle so when it's dried up please let me know how it works out as soon as I finish live feed I'm gonna have a good cracking at it again because I am determined okay so the snowdrops is a cute little flower okay um, with the bell shaped again so we're gonna paint one petal like so and then two curvy petal okay that's how we're gonna paint it I'm gonna show you what it looks like first with a line drawing and then I don't know what you call this bit I need to learn my flower anatomy actually you got like a domey bit so it's almost like the blue bell that we did yesterday okay so like a dome um, a bell okay and then we're gonna have an upside down umbrella handle again okay so then we can have one coming from here and then the first petal the second petal like so and the leaf is almost like bluebell leaves but smaller version actually so thin we might just do one stroke and round it off the tip okay 
Okay, like so. Hi, Simona, how are you? Okay, like that. All right, so that's our flower that we're going to do today. And then, what did I say that I was going to show you today how to paint the other thing? Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be the second flower because the first flower, we're going to, or oh, maybe that one, I'll paint it as a full day project. Maybe today we'll paint another flower, leaves first, okay? We're going to do rosemary. Okay, so let's do this one first. Right, 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 right. Okay. So let's mix some grey. The grey, you need purple. A bit of purple. Okay. There's so many combinations that you can make grey. Okay. Milton, are you okay? Milty. Are you alright, darling? Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. No. Is it 15 minutes already? Yeah. yeah, turn it off and take it out. Thank you. Oh, it's my husband. I thought it was a little baby. Okay, um, little baby who is 11. <laughs> and a bit of yellow. So I'm using a bit of purple, a bit of yellow, okay? But if you already have grey, go for it. That's way too strong. Okay. That lemon yellow is super strong. <clears throat> and you can use Payne's Grey as well, okay, for this effect. And make it really, really, oh God, I splatter everywhere today. Really, really diluted, okay? because you want it to be very, very diluted. And try it on your sheet of paper first. Okay, I'm happy with that. And paint the, f we're gonna paint just the shadow. So basically it's outline, okay. Hi James, hi La Laura. Okay, so we're going to, just a recap, we're going to do that first, okay, but not fully. We're just gonna do outline because it's gonna be the shadow of the petals because the petals are white. Okay, right, so, can you see, right, underline, like that, okay, next, and next, like that, and while it's still wet, quick, 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 clean your brush, and while it's still damp, blend it out. Oh, that one dry up really quickly. Okay, try again. I'm going to use a smaller brush. First petal. Make sure you've got plenty of paint in there because otherwise it dries really quickly. Second petal. Right. Quick, quick, quick. Blend it in. Okay, do another one, just for fun. Um, mm -mm -mm, boom, boom. Let's do one here. Um, let's do one here. Make sure your brush still wet. Maybe I'll blend one at a time. Because when I do three petals, it seems to dry it out so quickly. Yeah, one at a time. Don't get greedy. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be exactly the same, okay? Because some of them are turning away from you. Okay, and then we're going to go for green. Quick, 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 while the paint's still wet, um, we are adding green, okay? So we're just going to go for any green that you like, really. But again, we don't want the bright green that you have. Okay, we just want to be muted. I'm going to use green and orange, okay? Like a muted orange. Okay. You ready? 
and then we add that knobbly cutie thing oh it's very um wishy-washy too wishy-washy gonna add more orange to it okay that's better okay and then an upside down umbrella curves we don't want to mute it down too much as well because uh, it's spring isn't it if you see um, and then you go a little not believing so it's like an upside down well it's a bell okay and not believing like that okay guys and then usually the first leaves are up this way pointing up i'll just leave that one because otherwise it'll be too busy and add a bit of shadow i just mix a bit of green and more orange kind of thing really okay while the paint's still wet if it's already dried so quickly you just use a damp brush to help it gently ease it into the background color. Okay? And I think I can do one here just to keep a bit of interest on the bell shape of the flower. Okay? You guys are quiet. Are you concentrating? And yeah, that's good. And then we're going to paint some leaves that are coming up from the plant. Okay. Just going to make my green a bit stronger. Maybe I shouldn't have. Let me try it on the swatch first. Okay. And again, the leaf. Squash your brush and flick. Okay. Squash your brush and flick. And then once you've got your um, local color, local color is like the base, basic of the colors that you have. At this point, I would actually leave it to dry so then I can add a bit of shading. But um, we don't really have time to leave it to dry here. <laughs> Okay, voila, cute, that was quick, guys, are we all still alive? <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to give you a few minutes to finish this off, okay, and if you finish, because you're a fast, speedy Gonzalez, um, practice a few more of these lovely um, snowdrops, okay, okay, right. Um, while we're waiting for um, some of our classmates to, fi to finish their colors, if you're done, please type done, okay? We can talk a bit more about colors, okay? Um, basically, I've got another book that we could <laughs> Shannon, enjoy! I, I'm, I'm excited to see what you're making with your bubbles. Um, so this is another book that I could recommend to read. Um, it's Werner's book and um, basically this is just a reprint because the original one would cost a lot of money and um, basically it's all the color swatches that um, adapted to use at zoology, botany, chemistry, mineralogy, um, anatomy and the arts. Um, it's very interesting and um, this book Charles Darwin used to describe colors in nature on his voyage um, on the HMS Beagle. It's a lovely, lovely book, and but I wish, because, you know, it's a reprint. Um, I think th the v and and the Natural History Museum, they've got the actual, you know, original book. But obviously, this is only like eight pounds, and it's a reprint, and they try their best so that everybody, look, the British museum the natural history museum yeah and um you know trying to have you know everybody can access it actually so it's the first printed um in 
1821. It's awesome, right? So let's go into the book itself. Okay, hold on. So it tells you a bit more about color mixing. So the first bit is on the original one, all these little squares were painted, you know, for real with the actual pigments and everything. But these one are just printed, obviously. And um, let's say, because my favorite section is blue, let's go into blue, blue, purple. La 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 la. Okay, that's green. We must be nearly there. Purple. Okay, blue. So, um, right. Ultramarine blue, it said number 29. Ultramarine blue is a mixture of equal part of Berlin and azure blue. And when you go there, it say upper side of the wings of the small blue heath butterfly. See? How cool. And if it is plant, is barrage. And if it is mineral, is azure stone and lapis lazuli. Cool. Okay, guys. Let's move on to the next bit. So we're going to go for rosemary. So rosemary's got like a re rich, deep green. I should have cut some from my garden. They're doing really well at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so um, I think that wouldn't cut it for rosemary, I don't think. No, mm, no. So I'm going to add more green to it. Let's see. So you always swatch it first, yeah? Pick the green off your palette and see. Hope for the best. <laughs> right, let's have a look. No, oh, it's too bright. Too bright. Right. That's way too big of a brush for me. Let's go back to my usual red one. A pound from Thailand. Um, maybe a bit of cadmium yellow. That might be it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, just mix it right and go for the one that you like. Because you can probably, well, I would probably take the whole day mixing the colors for, just for <laughs> the leaves. Okay, no, don't like it. Don't like it. Help me. Don't know what to do today. Um, just gonna add a bit of yellow, orange. I mean, orange. Maybe I need to add pink. Yes, pink. Let's see. Yes! See? That's why I need to refer to my book, my wheel, color wheel. But if you have the green that you like, just go for it, okay? Right, let's see. Much better. Okay, so rosemary's got like a strong, long stems, okay? So we're gonna go really, really um, pale first. So have a little pull on one corner that is super super diluted okay dilute 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 and we're gonna do a straight stem today straight let's go grow, grow from the up on the top I mean from the bottom okay that's a bit too um, strong at the top there so I'm gonna take it off a bit that's all we need okay just like really faint and let's practice the leaf um, on our scrapbook, okay? So basically just do this, look. That's all you need, okay? Just like some are straight, some are curvy, like so. And we're gonna, there, that's all we need, okay? Okay, so really, really fainted one. Let's grow from the top. So... Some are straight forward and some are short, some are long, okay? But make it really, really fainted, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. That's what we want, okay? Mm. 
and be sure to leave some gaps there as well. Hi Heather, join me. Melody, can you shut the door in the living room please? It's noisy. It's my youngest. Okay, that's good. That's good. And we leave that to dry a little bit. Okay, fan it, fan it, fan it. Okay, while we leave that to dry actually, let's do another sprig. Why not? Why not? Because otherwise we'll have to fan it. Um, let's do it here. Grow from the ground up. Okay. Let's just join it somehow. Yeah. Okay, so. And this is almost the same as lavender, guys. You know, um, if it is lavender, you just do a slightly stubbier stroke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's dry now. We're going into the same um, color, but less diluted. Okay. And now we're going to go in here and there, not all everywhere, because it gives you a bit of darker layer. And make sure that your petal, well, your leaves are a bit um, not regular in a way. Okay, some are shorter, some are facing outwards and inwards. Like that. Okay. Let me add another, like, some random petals there. Mix a bit more colour. Too pink now. Whoops. Whoops. Always. I always get too excited. Okay. And then we go to the next one. Yeah. And um, I'm going to go in one more time on the main flower, on the main rosemary. Because now I have like three weirdly different color <laughs> there you go and um, because in spring rosemaries are flowering now, so I'm just going to mix a bit of purple. I'm going to make very lovely, delicate flowers to go with my rosemaries. If you want to. And always, when you mix a colour, try it on your scrap. Yeah, that's about right. So, the flowers on the rosemary... Let's do it a bit like loosely. So all you need to do is just kind of dot them in like so. Okay? All right? Let's go. You can fill in the gap too. In the middle. Go in where it's white.
I don't know when to stop. I don't know when to stop. Okay, and then um, if you want to, you can do that flicker thing. Flicking is fun. So I'm going to use my the worst brush that I have. Very fluffy, fluffy and stiff. Okay, I've been using it for all sorts. Look, they even got a chunk out of it. It's the best. Okay, so I'm going to use whatever color you want to, to flick with. I'm going to use orange, diluted down orange. Whoops. Okay, and flick. Done. You can even do the splatter by just throwing the paint at it, okay? And if you think, whoops, I've done too much, just gently go around the area with your cotton bud or tissue and pick up the colors that you don't want. But remember, um, watercolor will dry a lot paler, okay? Give it a pat. Okay, so look today we created snowdrops and rosemary in spring and a bit of alcohol effect background and my bubbles didn't work. My bubbles effect didn't work. So I'm going to post um, the picture of my effort on the wall and please um, have a go at um, at them a bit more. I'm definitely going to have a go now after this when I finish, um, you know, the bubble effect. And um, post a picture on the wall for me, okay, guys? Love you. I'll see you later.